Okay, so we're going to fold this cuff. I've made the cuff. It was a one by one rib on both beds. Um, when you're going to use a garter bar to fold the cuff, you put all of your um, stitches from the river onto the knitter. This is the garter bar that we're going to use. So all the stitches are up there. The fold's going to be in the center. I'm going to fold the left half over to the right. That means I move, oh, before I do that, you can't fold it if you have your cast on comb and your heavy weights down there. So those cast on comb comes off first. And then you hang claw weights. The claw weights um, puts the weight back on and I hang them on the, um, the outer corner of each side of the cuff and puts weight back on your cuff so you have weight while you're working and you're still able to fold. The fold's going to be in the center so this side of the cuff comes over to match this side but it'll be on the river. So the first thing you do is bring out all the stitches left of zero because all of these stitches go on to the garter bar. I'm trying to perfect this um, skill because um, I don't like um, taking the stitches off on waist yarn and then having to manipulate every single stitch individually to get them back onto the riverbed. This I like doing it all at one time. All the stitches at one time, all the latches are open. We don't start with the eyelet, with the eyelet on the left of the garter bar to the far left needle no because then that puts the extra garter bar in the middle of your work. Instead start with the far right eyelet onto the far right needle that's being transferred and make making sure that all your needles are on. I always miss this last one. I could not tell you why. Um, sometimes I can get it on easy enough. Other times I can't. There. So all the needles are in the eyelets. Next thing, take your pusher tool and push everything back as far as it'll go. Then continuing to hold the garter bar level, go underneath and just pull, pull this fabric. Try not to let the garter bar move the way I did. You want to keep it steady against the knitter and pull this fabric it stitches off of those needles onto the garter bar. The trickiest stitch is always going to be the last one, the one right of zero that's going to be left on the knitter. That is the one, if, if, it, if you're going to drop a stitch for sure, that's the one it's going to be. The other trick um, using the garter bar is keeping um, your knitting from getting caught on the gate pegs. That's the other th other problem that I've had. I've had I have a split stitch right there, where most of it's on the garter bar, but a little bit of it is still on the needle. So I'm just using this tool. I, I don't know if you can see it. I got this tool. It actually came with my Singer machine. Um, I don't know what it's called offhand. But it's used for catching the river, catching the yarn to get it, the river carriage threaded on a Singer machine. It's much easier to thread a river carriage, it seems to be, on a brother. You don't need a special tool the way you do on a Singer. At least the Singer that I have, the Model 700. So I'm just getting these few split stitches off of their needle and onto there, fully onto the garter bar. That is definitely the situation I have now. And then you want to make sure your stitches are all back as far as they can go on the garter bar. And so now you can just go ahead and lift the garter bar off of those needles. And there it's off. Just hold your garter bar steady while you push those needles out of work because they are no longer needed for this sock. 
The reason we're folding the sock is so that we can do circular knitting. Now this is the trickiness where um, I can lose this stitch. And I haven't figured out a way yet. Um, I'm still new enough to this that I'm just still trying to learn it. But I will try to figure out a way to avoid that. So then you just turn the garter bar. If you notice, I'm running my hand under here to keep it from getting caught on the gate pegs, my work from getting caught on the gate pegs. I've successfully folded the sock at least to this step. The next concern is keeping the work from getting caught on the knitter gate pegs. So this goes up. Okay, so I have 34 stitches on, on this side, but there's only 33, if I count it correctly, on the garter bar. So I'm going to make sure, the next step is to make sure all the latches are open on the river needles. So I'm going to move up 33 to 34 of these needles that I have to transfer these stitches on to. If you put up extra stitches on the far right hand side it won't hurt anything. I like to put up a couple extra just in case I'm counting wrong. I know I'm covered. And I want to make sure that these are all pretty even across. And now I have to get the, these stitches onto the needles. Okay, so they're all on. Whoops. They're all on the needles. And now I'm going to pull them down, pulling the fabric from behind, from below, onto the needles. And I kind of tilted the garter bar, the top of the garter bar, slightly towards me, trying to avoid the fabric getting caught on the um, gate pegs. Because I've had that happen. And I'll show you how you can check on that at the end. So then I pulled the, the material down. And now you do have to give a little bit of help with your fingers uh, to get off of, get completely over that, the loop on the needles, the, the hooks. There. Now every stitch is off the garter bar. So I'm going to remove the garter bar. And let's see, these are my empty stitches. And now I'm just going to pull all these stitches down. And I want to make sure I have not gotten caught, anything caught on the gate peg. Now we have our fold right here. That's the only obstruction that should be between these two halves of material. And I go across like this, and you can see it's completely open, and that's how it should be. It doesn't appear that anything, any of my stitches got caught on the gate peg. Now, more times than not, I, I do get one or two stitches caught. And, um, but this is, I've done this now maybe ten times, and so it's getting, I'm getting better at it. Um, so I'm really thrilled <laughs> that it didn't get caught. So now I'm ready for circular knitting. This particular um, pattern requires, since there's one more stitch on the knitter than there is on the bed, I have to move that stitch over because when you do your circular knitting, you want to make sure that it's the same amount of stitches, that, at least in this pattern that I'm doing. This is the only experience I have with making socks. Um, so that's it. You would then, you folded your cuff using the garter bar. Now you would just continue with your pattern, whatever your pattern is. Thanks for watching.